One of the best parts of traveling is experiencing the art, history, and culture of other places. Mexico has a rich and diverse culture throughout the country. Puebla is the perfect destination for anyone looking for unique cultural activities on their travels. In this video, we'll share five free activities related to arts and culture. Puebla is well known for its ceramics called Talavera. It was introduced by the Spanish after their conquest of Mexico and was brought from the city Talavera La Reina, hence the name Talavera. You'll see Talavera all over the city in markets like El Parian and Calle de los Sapos, as well as in souvenir shops and as a part of the iconic architecture of the city. For a unique and special experience, you can tour a Talavera factory. We visited Oriarte Talavera, which has been around almost 200 years since 1824. We've been to Puebla various times, and Nefi even grew up here, and we had no idea you could do this. It's definitely a hidden gem in Puebla. They take you through every step of the process, like mixing the colors, modeling the clay, baking, creating stencils, and of course, painting. They offer tours Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Tours are 80 pesos per person, but the tour at 11 a.m. is free. Even if you can't make it to the free tour, it's worth the 80 pesos for such a unique behind the scenes experience. Be sure to call or email ahead to confirm they will have tours and to make a reservation. Tours are offered in both Spanish and English. You also get to tour their private gallery with collaborations with specially selected artists. They of course sell Talavera as well. There seem to be mostly large pricier pieces, but I bought a bag of broken pieces that are still beautiful for around $5 that I'm going to use to make a mosaic. The Museo Amparo is one of the top destinations to visit in Puebla with pre-Hispanic art, colonial art, and contemporary art exhibits, so there is something for everyone. Aside from the different exhibits, the Museo Amparo also offers free workshops on Saturdays and Sundays. You do still need to pay museum admission on Saturdays, but admission is free on Sundays if you're looking for a completely free experience, Sunday is the best day to visit. When you arrive, go upstairs to the library to sign up for a time and they have workshops every hour from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. When we visited, we created our own mini version of a painting in the Colonial Art Exhibit. We went to see the piece and sketch the outline and then returned to the library to finish our mini masterpiece. Be sure to check with the museum as the workshops change periodically, so you'll want to check what they are offering when you visit. This summer, the Museo Amparo is also hosting an event in the Zocalo every Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 4 p.m. Around 11.30, they start to set up a table near the intersection of Tres Poniente and Calle 16 de Septiembre. I'll include a Google Maps pin in the description as well. In this activity, you get to make your own bowl out of clay that looks similar to one in the pre-Hispanic art exhibit. It's completely free and is a super fun craft that makes a great souvenir. If you found this video helpful and informative, don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along with our other travel guides and vlogs where we share tips and tricks for your travels. Mexico is well known for mariachi music, a genre of music that evolved in the countryside of various regions of Mexico from at least the 18th century but is now popular throughout Mexico and the world. You can experience a free mariachi concert every Thursday in the Zocalo at 6 p.m. If it is raining, like when we visited, they move it inside to the patio of the Palacio Municipal, which is right in front of the Zocalo. It is such a fun experience to see how excited and engaged everyone is singing and clapping along. The only song I know the words to, at least mostly, is Cielito Lindo, which they unfortunately didn't play, but we still had a great time. It was the one year anniversary of Mariachi Thursday, and the mayor of Puebla was there and even was convinced to sing. This was a very popular event, so be sure to come early if you want a good seat. This isn't one event in particular, but a resource you can use to find what events are happening when you are visiting. One of my favorite events was the regional folkloric dance company from Puebla that performed in the Zocalo. 
They perform dances from all over Mexico, from the famous Jarabe Tapatio, or the hat dance, to dances specific to Puebla in La China Poblano dress. There are various costume changes, and it was absolutely incredible, especially with the cathedral as the backdrop. If you have the chance to see any folkloric dances while in Mexico, I would highly recommend it. This event was put on by the Instituto Municipal de Arte y Cultura de Puebla. For July and August, they have a big board in the Zocalo with a schedule of all of the different cultural events happening this summer. You can also check their Facebook page for events that may be happening during your trip. We also saw an orchestra, the choir from a nearby university, and a circus show as well. Most of these events are in the Zocalo or the Patio of the Palacio Municipal or City Theater, so they're easy to find and they're all free. Also in the Zocalo is a rotating exhibit hall that currently has a great art experience for kids, or the young at heart. While not necessarily related to any specific part of Mexican culture, they have different watercolor activities you can do for free. Currently they have three options, you can pick a prompt and paint what it says, paint the flowers they have set out, or paint the mannequins that are colorfully dressed. This would be a fun stop for kids who may be tired of walking and looking at museums, or to escape the weather, the heat, or the rain. This is a temporary exhibit, so be sure to check out what they are offering when you visit, since it will change. On Google Maps, the location is called Nodo, a space of visual experimentation, and I will include it in our Google Maps list. Puebla is a beautiful city full of art and culture. These free events and activities are a great way to experience and learn more about what Puebla is really all about. Don't forget to like and subscribe as we'll be sharing more videos about what to do in Puebla and even more importantly, where to eat. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.